Okay, so here's the 3D printing pen which I tested out a few weeks ago. And now I'm just going to take it apart and try and hack it so I can use it for the 3D printer. <laughs> now wire up the hot end. So I need four wires, two for the actual heater and two for the thermistor. Okay, so the next thing to do is to solder the wires to this hot end. attached this extra heater thing to this little test code you can see it pushes out some stuff so now I'm going to be making the um, print bed so I'm going to cut this and then make a second one Okay, so here is the uh, two parts of the print bed. So what I need to do now is drill the holes here and here and there so that I can attach them to each other and then attach them to the 3D printer. So using the screw method, I carefully drilled 11 holes into these two plastic squares. So the next step is going to be to attach this one on top of this one. So I've almost finished the 3D printer. I've got all three CD drives plus the print bed. I've also wired up the heater and the extruder motor. So what I wanted to do was show the 3D printer printing, but I can't do that now because I encountered a quite a big issue. Essentially, this, this power connector, I put in the wrong way. That, that's all it was. I just took this thing and instead of the red going to the red, I put the red to the black. In doing so, I reversed the polarity of the circuit and I destroyed all um, things on my board which are polarity sensitive. So I've come to the conclusion that my board is okay, but all my step board drivers are completely destroyed. So in the next video, I'll be getting replacements for these step board drivers and then hopefully I'll be able to print with the 3D printer.